Okay. I will continue on number six. But before we are trying to mud up, I want to suggest you some meditators they want to continue more than one hour, etc. So because of this reason, while you are going getting up, while you are open the door, please try and slowly gently. It is better. Because some meditators they stay together two or three together. So because of this reason their room is also not comfortable for meditation. They want to meditate here for a long time. But some people when the bell rings, they get up. Other than they open the door, not generally. So it disturbs their concentration. Because of this reason, every time please be careful to open and want to close the door gently. Another reason is after lunch or after lunch, usually many people, many meditators want to rest for a few minutes huh? for his short nap. At the day, showering is not good. So you should also fix showering time. After lunch, you should not do showering, it is better. Because some they want to take a nap, a short nap, but some are, some are showering, then they cannot sleep well. <laughs> so because of this, is after lunch, hmm? it is better not to shower. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Then everywhere, if you want to speak, please try and change everything. So, at low points. Hmm? Okay. Then today, we will continue on a banner session. Anabana Gumatana also can edit a hardship. Why? Hmm? I want to explain in brief. Now you had me already practice Anabana four stages in Samatha meditation long breath, short breath, the whole breath body in, tranquilizing the whole breath body formations. Hmm? This is Abdu Pope Chana stage. Abdu Pope Chana. Then what you must do? You must do some ultimate mentality, ultimate modality. This is mental body and physical body. Internally and externally both. Then you must design dependent origination their causes. If when you are designing dependent origination, if you can do then it is better four or five laps, up to four or five past laps. If you can design the very origination, it is better. But for future, you must try up to the end of your future. Because when you are practicing with Basna in Udiya Bhaya Jnana stage, rising in dissolution inside knowledge stage, you must design not only rising stage, causal rising, but also causal cessation, complete cessation. So because of this reason, you must try when you, when you are descending dependent origination in the future existences. Then after the end of future, you must try. Hmm? After that, what should you do? This is another way. Usually, Lakana Rasa Pichu Patana Patatana Vasena Nama Rupa Parigaho Deti Visodhi Nama For purification of your right view, you should try to design each mentality and materiality by way of characteristic function, manifestation, and proximate cause. Some characteristics are connected with dependent origination. Because of this reason, we teach this system later. For example, I transfer it. What is I transfer it? Rubavi Gadaraha Buddha Pasada Lakana. The transfer of four elements, which is impingeable by Kala. This is no much problem, you can easily understand. But there is also another characteristic. Tatu Gamma Dani Dana Gamma Smoothana Buddha Pasada Lakana Vachaku. Tatu Gamma Dani Dana. In previous life, when you are accumulating host phantomas, you have the intention to see visible objects. <laughs> With such intention, you had accumulated 
all sankamas. So, based on this craving for sensual pleasure, you accumulate that whole sankama. <coughs> because of this whole sankama, four elements arise here. Transparent of these four elements is called <coughs> the kupasada, untransparent element. In this case, this characteristic is connected with previous past cause. After you had been descent dependent origination, other than you will understand what is huh? you are wholesome karma, what is you are craving, which based on this craving, how do you accumulate this? Huh? How did you accumulate this wholesome karma? Other than only you will understand. Huh? So because of this reason, usually we teach. Of the dependent origination to design each mental factor as well as physical is materiality. <coughs> By way of characteristic <coughs> manifestation and proximate cause. Of the you had been designed this, then it is ready to go to Vipassana. So if you want to go to Vipassana, how you should practice? You press it. Adim materiality is very easy. You can design, you have been designed many times internally and externally Adim materiality. So as a group is better. <coughs> if you cannot contemplate there as a group, then you should contemplate here 54 rupees. Here 54, 54, then separately you can do as long as they rise they pass away. So you, they are nature and permanent. You should contemplate them as a nature. At the time, you should not contemplate them as a small body gas. Small body gas are not the object of vipassana. You must analyze this small body gas. In each small body gas, there may be, there are at least eight types of materiality. These ultimate materiality are the object of vipassana. So you must emphasize only ultimate materiality. 54, 54, and then as a general, the whole body also you should try to design all ultimate material, and then you must contemplate them as nature, yoga, and other. As soon as they rise, they pass away, so they are nature, but their rising and passing is very quick. You cannot follow nature, 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 nature very quickly. So nature is only slowly. Rising and passing must be very quick. So, for example, 100 times rising and passing away. You can do, you can contemplate nature once. It is okay, no problem. Huh? So, by seeing this uh, rising and passing away very, very quickly, you must contemplate the uh, nature. Not only is internally, but also externally. When you are doing externally, from near to far away, slowly you must extend your system area. Up to infinite universe, slowly. Everywhere, wherever you pay attention, everywhere all materiality becomes nature. Huh? So all are same. Same means at the day, if you design four elements in your goal, you can see only just a group of small particles. If you analyze these small particles, you can see eight types of materiality. Uh, element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, order, flavor, nutritive essence. They as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. When they begin gold like solid, because in each club there is fire element, that fire element can produce another new generation. In that generation there is also fire element, that fire element also can produce another generation. So successfully for a long time they can produce in this way. As long as they are producing in this way, then gold is still gold for physical eye. But for Western eye, there is no goal. And so as the rest, they pass away. In the same way, if you pay addition, you are diamond. <laughs> ruby. There is no ruby, there is no diamond. If you design four elements in that ruby or diamond, then you can see only just a small particle. If you analyze in each particle, there are eight types of material. These are, as soon as they rest, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are also nature. In anime or anime, everything is safe, all are safe. So this is called Samana Lakana. All are equal, same characteristic. And then all are nature, all are body gas. 
there's no diamond, there's no ruby, there's no gold, there's no silver, there's no U.S. dollar. <laughs> 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 yes, if you make an Asian point you invent US dollar, you can see only just small body guys. <laughs> <laughs> so all are equal, all are the same. So this is because of this reason they are called Samana Lakana. Huh? Equal characteristic. All have same characteristic. So if you can kiss nature, huh? Thoroughly, if you satisfy, then you can change dukkha. Why dukkha? The dukkha, the meaning of dukkha is very wide. They translate suffering. This translation is many educated hmm, persons, they don't want to translate like that. Because dukkha means always they are oppressed by rising and passing away. Because of this reason, Buddha gave this name dukkha. Every day and all over the world is dukkha. Why? They are always rising and passing away. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away. For example, maybe one lady have maybe take part, eh? one children. As soon as take part, eh? that children pass away. Again, another children, then pass away, then pass away. So then they think, oh, they are very to suffering. Eh? As soon as they rise, they pass away. So because of this, like such meaning only. Many people, they think this is hmm, pessimistic, not pessimistic, this is true nature. Because as soon as they rise, they very, very quickly pass away or dissolution. If they are dissolution, we, can we say this is sukha, happiness? We cannot say, because they are not permanent, they are impermanent. So because of this reason, they are gift by name Dukkha. Hmm? So you must contemplate them in the same way. As long as they are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are Dukkha. Then if you satisfy, then you can be addition not that no self. Why? If you contemplate this ultimate materiality, you cannot see any substance which is stable for a long time, per minute. So they are no self. You cannot control them not to this not do pass, passing away. Mm. Not do pass away. So they are not that according to your own desire, they will never come. Maybe may this robot uh, this materiality not not pass away. Not to reach the solution stage. Although you may have such intention, it is not okay like that. But as soon as it arrives, it passes away. There is no permanent entity in them. So because of this reason, they are another, not self. After descending or demand materially, internally and externally as nature or dogma or another, then in the same way you should try or demand mentality also. Even you are janatmas, you may say, I can maintain my concentration one hour, two hour, three hour. But really, if you pay attention to this janatmas, they are impermanent. As soon as they arise, they pass away. Then how you can say again my day? Because this jhana consciousness is not saying like sensual consciousness. Sensual consciousness means for you are easy, easy understanding, eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, no? such, such consciousness. They are, as soon as they arise, they pass away. If they are permanent, then always you must be seen one day, always, the whole life, if they are permanent. So they are not permanent. Because of this reason, you can clearly see impermanent in nature, but Janatamas are not like that. They can rise successfully for many hours, one hour, two hours, without interruption. So because of this reason, we can see uh, she can maintain or he can maintain his concentration for, for one hour, two hours, etc. But although he can maintain this concentration, but actually while he is discerning this Janatamas, as soon as they arise, they pass away successfully for a long time. So you must contemplate them as nature, because they are, as soon as they arise, they pass away, so they are nature. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are also Dukkha. There is no permanent entity, permanent substance, so they are another, no self. Why 
we are contemplating like that. To arise in our mind, this gentleman inside knowledge. This is very important. If you do remove craving or do remove attachment, this this gentleman inside knowledge is very important. Living down we reach the in this way book that talks in many suggestions. If you have this enchantment, then you will you will have viraga. Viraga means you have no attachment to these objects. Because as soon as they rise they pass away very very quickly. How you get attached? How you can have attachment to these objects? Hmm? So because of this reason Buddha gave to contemplate them as Nicha Dukha Nada. Internally, yeah, externally, but there are many different ways you can do Adimbe Mandalady, Adimbe Madiradi as Nicha Dukha Nada. But some meditators, there are many difficulties. When they are contemplating, <coughs> contemplating Adimbe Madiradi, they cannot grasp all Madiradi as a whole. So because of this reason, sometimes about that talk separately. If it is so, you must do separately. I transparent element nature. Ear transparent element nature. Mm -hmm. Nose transparent element nature. Tongue transparent element nature. Body transparent element nature. Heart pace nature, etc. In this way, one by one, they must do. This way of practice also called arana method or ad element method. So in this way also about that touch. Because when they are discerning Adimbe Madhiradi, it is not clear in their mind as a whole. One by one, if they practice, it is very clear. So for those Buddha also taught, I dwell Arana Metta also. Why? This depends on their parami. <coughs> in previous life, when they are practicing Vipassana, they emphasize only mentality, not materiality. Because they don't want to practice materiality uh, obediently. They want to emphasize only mentality. So because of this reason, in this life, when they are practicing vipassana, when they are contemplating and demanding materiality, all are not clear in their mind together. So if it is so, they must do separately, one by one, two by two, hmm? separately. This is one way. Other meditators, when they are contemplating Adimbe Madhiradi, it is very clear in their mind, very evident. But when they are contemplating Adimbe Madhiradi, they cannot grasp together because they are very quick, they are very subtle. So because of this, they cannot penetrate all together. For those Buddha also dot for aggregate, for mental aggregate, feeling, perception, Pollution and formations and consciousness separately. The among, for example, first Janatama Tadipo. Among Tadipo, you should emphasize only just feeling, maybe blissful feeling. Feeling in nature, okay. Then perception in nature, okay. Then the remaining metal feathers, headed by pollution, they are in nature. Then consciousness in nature. So in this way, five ingredients matter. So, Ruba is one ingredient, materiality is one ingredient, feeling one ingredient, perception one ingredient, mental formation is one ingredient, then consciousness is one ingredient. This five ingredient matter is also okay. Maybe you may, you may reach, and then so you have been read, and then so, Nada Dakana Soda, second summer. In that Soda Buddha gave instruction for five group breakfast, which are all the breakfast. For higher ultimate, from Soda Banda states to Arha states, to contemplate five greeting methods. Yangenshi Ruba, Dida Nagata, Bichubana, Ija Dhamma, Bri Dhamma, Olari Dhamma, Sukumawa, Inawa Bani Dhamma, Yandure Sandi Gewa, Sabha Ruba, Nida Mama, Niso Amma, Sami Nami, So Adda, Di Iwa, Midanya, Tabuda, Sama, Binaya, Tadabha. Whether past or present, future, and then your Islamic gross or saddle, empire or subria, far or near, all 11 types of rubas you must contemplate them as nature to cut matter. In the same way, 11 types of feeling, <coughs> 11 types of perception, 11 types of 
policing and formations, eleven types of consciousness also Buddha is being in, in the same way. So this is five aggregate matter. <coughs> when, <coughs> when Buddha is founding this Naga Dakana Sugga, listeners, especially five group vehicles, they can follow the instruction. When listening to Mado, they can contemplate eleven types of five aggregates as nature to Kanada. Because of this reason, at the end of this discourse, they all begin at heart. <laughs> <coughs> this is present cause only. Past cause is this way of brightness, they have been brightness in the end of Budumudra Buddha. So, beginning from Budumudra Buddha's time, they already brightness these five aggregate matters as nature to another many times. So, because of this reason, when Buddha is expounding five aggregate matters, we must not. They can easily follow, eh? they can easily contemplate. Them. This is one reason. Another reason is <coughs> when Buddha is expounding Dhamma Chaka Bodhana Sutta, eh? the first summer, in that Sutta, Buddha taught four noble truths. What is first, first noble truth? Dukkha Sitya. What is Dukkha Sitya? Dukkha Sitya, Sankhi Dina Pinchu Badane Kanda Dukkha. In brief, five clinging aggregates are Dukkha Sitya. So in that Sutta, Buddha, in brief way, Buddha is playing five clinging aggregates. What are five clinging aggregates? Whether they are past or present or future, internet or external, gross or gross or subtle, inferior or superior, far or near. All eleven types of five aggregates are called five clinging aggregates. At that time also, they already practice this way to attain sort of an stage. So, because of this reason, when they are inside Pika Mejua, Buddha also taught this five aggregate Buddha again. <laughs> So in this way also you can contemplate. In the same way, 11 types of, 12 types of Ayurana Medha, 80 element types hmm, of Dhatu Medha, this also you can do in the same way. So if you had been this ultimate mentality, materiality, internally and externally as nature to Kanada, then you must go back up to past life. How many past life? For example, you had to be this Ultimate mentality, mentality up to fifth past life. So from fifth past life to present, present to future, up to the end of your future, you must contemplate the ruba 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 anicca, hmm? the nama 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 anicca. Or another way is ruba 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 anicca. Virna feeling feeling virna is anicca. Then sinya perception is anicca. Then sankara formations is anicca. Then consciousness vijnana is anicca. Nama Rupa Mada or Five Green Mada, you should try in the same way, Nicha, and then Toka, and then Nata. In the same way, you must do. When you are doing it in this way, when you are inside Vikan Shah, at the day you can do 40 doors. Maybe this you can try to see and in the Visodhi Maga, the Vata Purification. Under Nicha Lakana, there are 10 characteristics. Under Toka Lakana, there are 25 characteristics. And another lekana, there are five characteristics. This for the way of contemplating, also you must try in the same way. Why? To rise in your mind, this gentleman, <laughs> whether past or present or future, all are impermanent, all are nature, all are dukkha. If you understand in this way, gliara and gliara, then slowly this gentleman will arise. You will not expect any future existence. Craving for future existence will be this way slowly. Hmm? This is important. If you have any attachment for future existence, then you must continue future existence. You must be reborn again in future. But if you have no attachment for future existence, then this life will be your last life. You can take pranibana in this very life. Hmm? So, for this this gentleman, we must contemplate future as well as past. Sometimes present is not good. Oh, in past, hmm? we are very luxurious. We are very rich. In this way, you may go back 
you are attachment to past life. Hmm? So because of this reason, past also nature, present also nature, future also nature, all are impermanent. We must try to see this impermanent nature. After that, there may be another way of studying hmm? Rupa Sadaka, the material subject. Aruba Sadaka, immaterial subject. This is also very good. Very good means our body Sadha under the body tree. Maybe especially last watch. When he is contemplating with us now, he practices this Rupa Sadaka, material subject. Aruba Sadaka, immaterial subject. This is very thoroughly, what called? Thoroughly in detail is a mind, a demon mentality, and materially as nature took another. So, within one day, minutely, within hundred years, every day you must contemplate them. So, very detailed. <laughs> but it will take long time. So, after, <laughs> after that, then you can go very, very quickly, you, if you can see, rising and passing with me every my moment. Then you can go to it. You can reach at the Udhyabhyanjana stage. Well, if you reach Udhyabhyanjana stage, rising and falling, jnana, inside knowledge, hmm? mm. up to that stage, if you can clearly see moment by moment rising and passing away, then you can do at the time causal rising and eh? momentary rising. Causal passing away and eh? momentary passing away both. Yesterday we had been discussed, eh, the recognition. You should try to see the first five causes. Mm -hmm. hmm? Because of the rising of which are ignorance, hmm? free sandy kamaja rupa arise. Because of the rising of craving, free sandy kamaja rupa arise. Because of the rising of clinging, free sandy kamaja rupa arise. Because of the rising of Volition and formations, Prishani Kamaja Rupa arise. Because of the arising of Kama coming force, then Volition and formations, <coughs> Prishani Kamaja Rupa arise. So, because of this, this arise, you, you must try. Then, you should try to see Prishani Kamaja Rupa's rising stage. Oh, but the rising stage only. This is causal arising. Because of this, this arise, this is causal arising. You try to see only rising state. This is momentary rising. So both causal rising and momentary rising you must try. If you can do like that, then every five aggregate you must try according to six toes. And each toe there is in every mind moment you must do in the same way. When you have been this uh, dependent origination other than this mode also you must try. After that not only momentary rising, mm -hmm. causal rising and momentary rising, then you must also try causal cessation and momentary cessation. You, sh you already designed these five causes, five, five causes. Then similar five causes will cease in the future. In which future? When you add the rahasya at the dying, this fight similar, similar, not this, this Oja, because this Oja also nature, as soon as they rise, they pass away, in past, 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 past life. So they can, they can all follow up to Chucha, but the post, coming post only Chucha, uh, follow up to Chucha. But here, these five causes you should try to see, and the similar five causes, when you add the Rahatta, they're all ignoring, all craving, all clinging, all foolish informations, and all coming forth will cease completely without remainder. Mm. So you should try to see this complete cessation state. Mm. And then if you see that complete cessation state, because of the cause cease completely without remainder, including Parishanti, Kamacharupa, all five aggregates will cease completely without remainder, after Pranibana. Mm. Pranibana is final cessation. Mm. So, if you see these two types of cessation, complete cessation, then you should listen. Because of the complete cessation of Oja, Prisani Kamaja Ruba sees completely without remainder. Mm. Because of the complete cessation of Tana, 
Paris and Gangja River sees Kongli deliver the Mega. Because of the Kongli success of Kongli, Paris and Gangja River sees Kongli deliver the Mega. Because of the Kongli success of formations, formation and formations, Paris and Gangja River sees Kongli deliver the Mega. Because of the Kongli success of Kama, then Paris and Gangja River sees Kongli deliver the Mega. This is causal cessation state. Then again, you must find this Prishani Gamja Rupa's dissolution state. This is momentary passing away. So, this both causal passing away and momentary passing away also you must consider in the same way. In every mind moment, I agree this. In, in every aggregate, you must do in the same way. At that time only, you will understand this way of practice. Oh, if I practice in this way, then one day all five ingredients will cease completely with the Omega. At that time, you want to, uh, to practice, to continue your practice. Oh, when, when, when I will be, these five ingredients will be ceased. You cannot see. Okay? You have no attention to reach there. So when you see, at that time only, you have strong desire to reach that stage. Without seeing anything, if you are trying, then slowly you will become poor. Now you can see your result. Exactly. Oh. If I follow this Nova A4 system medically, one day this fat aggregate, these causes in this fat aggregates will cease completely with the Omega. But there's one question. If fat causes cease completely with the Omega, when one meditator a day has shed, then why they continue? Have to bring you another stage. For example, our body said that, huh? our Buddha, <laughs> when he 25 years old, hmm? he began in like age one. But he must continue 45 years as a Buddha. Mm -hmm. When he 18 years old, other than he took Pranipana. Why he continued in this way after the attainment of Rashid? Because if he can completely destroy or completely destroy the five causes, if there is complete cessation of five causes, why he continue in this way? So the problem is that this Rahabha knowledge can destroy five causes, it is true, but really it destroys is the phenomenon only. Ignorance, clinging, and craving. He destroys these three only. But every coming force, when they depends on ignorance, craving, and clinging, they can produce any any future result. If there is no ignorance, no clinging, no uh, craving. They cannot produce any result because when this this called defilement wrong kills up for that. When they depend on this kills up defilements, at that time karma can produce any result. For example, craving is very important. Mm -hmm. Craving is attachment to future existence. There is no craving, no attachment for future existence completely. So if there is no attachment, then karma cannot produce any future exist existence. So this is reason. Because of this reason, when I have knowledge, just try ignorance, craving, and clinging, then commas also cannot produce any more results. <coughs> for future existence only, not for present existence. You should understand this. For present existence, but for pranivana, final cessation states, they will continue to produce this result, five aggregates. For future existence, all commas finish. So because of this reason, after final cessation for Nibbana, there is no more any aggregates, no more five aggregates. Only for future existence, coming first, a hamper can destroy. But for present existence, after Raham approaching knowledge eh, between Pranibana, his previous karma will continue in the same way. Because of this reason, Pinariba Mahamograna also suffer a lot of cars. <laughs>
In this area, our Bodhra, Bodhra also suffered a lot to come before bringing the vanity stage. Mm -hmm. Many Rahas also think like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you can do this causal arising in momentary arising, causal passing away in momentary passing away, then you should try to join both together. Mm -hmm. Because of the arising of ignorance, Prisani Kamaja Rupa arises. Because of the complete cessation of ignorance, Prisani Kamaja Rupa ceases completely without Minda. Because of the arising of craving, Prisani Kamaja Rupa arises. Because of the complete cessation of craving, Prisani Kamaja Rupa ceases completely without Minda. In this way, clinging, Sankara, and coming forth you must do. So, because of this, this rise, because of the cessation of this, this also ceases. At that time only you will have enough confidence this way of practice. Is it true? <laughs> yes. So you should try up to that stage. And then you should try, you should contemplate at that stage. Seeing this comes out arising and passing where you must contemplate them as nature. Or five causes also nature. Here, result also nature, cause also nature, result also nature. In this way, you must contemplate Dukkha and Nanda also in the same way. And then, then slowly, you are Udiya Vya Jnana, rising and passing away inside knowledge will become more powerful. When this inside knowledge becomes more and more powerful, the impact means at the time will rise. Among these things, every two minutes, hmm? when you are inside knowledge, will be the Shabba and Shabba. And then the Rapcha will be full, hmm. your body will be full of Rapcha. Hmm? In this way, there are many things in the minutes. But you must contemplate them as nature to find that. This is no much problem. Another problem is light. And then there is a strong powerful light is Abhya. Because of this reason, they may think, oh, I am adding. Uh, but in fusion knowledge, you may think, hmm. but really other than no part in fusion knowledge. So, how you should practice when the such a powerful light of the earth? At the time, this light you can get some four elements. Hmm. Very subtle. In that light, if you get some four elements, you can see light is nothing but a group of small particles. If you analyze these particles, you can see a depth of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence. Among these eight, that color is very bright. Why? Because of your inside knowledge. Mm. When your inside knowledge becomes shabba and shabba, then the light is bigger, light brighter and brighter. So at that time you can see this light. Light is nothing but only a group of small particles. Mm. But each time it is this kind of light is temperature produced light only. Temperature produced light means in each club there is fire element. That fire element can produce new generation. For our Buddha's inside knowledge, produce this light up to uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, 10,000 water cycle. Very, very far away. But for some meditators, we will come up to one. Maybe one kilo, one, two kilo, three kilo, etc. only. Hmm? <coughs> but this light is not the internet is temperature produced, but internet is both. Mind produces materiality as well as temperature produces materiality. Every insight knowledge is associated with every consciousness. Hmm? Consciousness. Mm -hmm. Every insight knowledge is associated with it is all consciousness. That consciousness can produce small particles, mm -hmm. mind produce materiality. In each club there are eight of some materiality. Among these eight color is very bright. In the same way, among these eight types of materiality, there is temperature. Mm -hmm. That temperature can produce new generation. In that generation there is also there are also eight types of materiality. Mm -hmm. Among these eight types there is also color, that color also bright. So here the light of which is internally is Combination of these two types of color only, but each tunnel is only temperature produced, not mind produced. Mind produced, material did not go each tunnel one. Mm. As soon as they rise, they pass away internally only. Mm. 
So at that time you can analyze it is like in the same way. What is anabana brivaga you make? <laughs> at that time you can analyze clearly. If you make a decision you are natural breath or maybe this like hmm? then you can you should get some four elements and then you make that. You can see Columbus. Nimida is nothing but a group of Columbus. But internally also there is Nimida. Externally also there is Nimida. If you follow inside and return, mm -hmm. you can see Nimida here also. Mm -hmm. So this Nimida is internally is for mind produce materiality as well as temperature produce materiality. But externally here, this is only temperature produce materiality. But this temperature produce materiality is based on mind produce materiality only. In mind produce materiality, in each club there is prior element teja. That teja produce new generation only. So at that time you can analyze the Babri Bhagat Yamita also. But before you are practicing Vipassana, while you are discerning ultimate materiality, at that time you can discern four elements in your natural breath. Natural breath is nothing but a group of small particles. If you analyze these small particles, they are nine types, including sound, breathing sound. Mm -hmm. So they are nine types only. If you had been designed this nine types of materiality, one numerator is Abhya. <coughs> Other than also, if you design a demand materiality, it is very easy for you. So, if you can contemplate they as nature to another, they this gentleman, or maybe there will be no attachment to that light or to that ten types of impediment. So if you <laughs> overcome these ten types of impediment, then you are Uriya Vyajana inside is very powerful inside, very strong. At the dying <laughs> in the same way you must do past, present and future, internal and external both it is better. Hmm? But that doing it in this way then when you are inside Begin Shabbat and Shabbat, then you should emphasize only passing away, not rising states. Then you will see only dissolution states, mm -hmm. not rising. Whenever you make a decision, internally or externally, past or present or future, all the <coughs> Madina will be, you will see only dissolution. And then, then you can make a decision there as nature. And so that's Doka, so that's another. When you pay attention to Nama mentality also, in the same way, you will see only dissolution. Because you do not pay attention arising. You pay attention only dissolution. At that time, when you are inside Bikin, Shabbat and Shabbat, then you will see only dissolution. On that stage, depending on this stage, Prabhupada taught in Mahasri Prana Sutta. Huh? I will continue Mahasri Prana Sutta. <coughs> Idi ija dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiheredi, bai dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiheredi, ija da bai dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiheredi. You must design a limit mentality in materiality, internally and externally both can be. Then, samu dia dama nubasi wa gaya samu wiheredi, waya dama nubasi wa gaya samu wiheredi, samu dia waya dama nubasi wa gaya samu wiheredi. So, first, dependent origination. Secondly, you must contemplate them as an Ichadoka Nata, Abdu Uriya Vyajana states. Then Buddha continued, Ati Gayo Diva Banasa Sati Bishu Bhati Dahodi Yawa Diva Jana Madaya Pradeshti Madaya. What is the meaning? Or else mindfulness is mindfulness. There is a body is simply established. Simply established to the extent necessary for bare knowledge and mindfulness. What is the meaning? Maybe <coughs> you may understand or not, I don't know exactly. <coughs> the meaning is <coughs> when you are emphasizing only just the solution. At the day when you are inside vegan Shabbat and Shabbat, you will not see any collapse at the day. Before that stage, when you are designing ultimate materiality, some bus you can see ultimate materiality. But there are uncountable calabas all over the world or internally or externally both. You cannot analyze all because your inside knowledge is not so, so sharp. Only Vodra can do every particle whether 
Then Lao said, what is such bad? He can do every color, but, but only Saugas can, Saugas cannot do like that. So, because of this reason, when you analyze some party guys, you may see Adim and There are also many party guys. You cannot analyze them at once. So, because of this reason, why you are contemplating nature to go under the Abdu Uriyavya Nana stage, rising, fall, passing which stage. Partially, you may see ultimate mentality and mentality as nature to go under. But, when you reach the solution stage, hmm, the knowledge of the solution, Vegat Nyana, hmm, in that Nyana inside knowledge stage, you only see the solution. When you are inside vegan shabha and shabha, you will not see any color bars. Only just Adhimbe Madhiradi, Adhimbe Madhiradi, they are only passing when you will see. So, <coughs> referring to that stage, Buddha says, or else there is a body is established, <coughs> mindfulness that there is a body is established, simply established to the extent necessary for bare knowledge and mindfulness. At the time, you, because of this dissolution inside knowledge, your inside knowledge becomes more and more powerful. Your mindfulness also becomes more and more powerful. That powerful insight and mindfulness is for higher and higher inside knowledge and higher and higher mindfulness only. And then, then you will see only, there is only mental body, material body only. There will be no any compactness. In that case, compactness is small body gas. Mm -hmm. This small body gas also you will not see. Mm -hmm. Only just mental, mental body and material body you will see. So this is that stage. So if you reach that Venga Jnana stage, the solution and such knowledge stage, mm. then you will not see any body gas. You will only see mental body, only mental body and material body. If you continue in this way, past, present, future, internet, internet, mm. in the same way, then one day you are inside Venga, what Venga made you are. When you are inside Venga made you are, this gentleman knowledge will appear. This gentleman inside knowledge will appear. When this this gentleman inside began, Shabba and Shabba and Mejua, then even Nima's mind will appear. Even Nima's mind means <coughs> wherever you pay attention, you can see only the solution. There is nothing to be grasped. This is my, this is my husband, this is my daughter, this is my wife. This is my U.S. dollar. In this way, there is nothing to grasp. Only the solution you can see. So at the day, you have equanimous mind to everything, internally and externally. That equanimous mind became medua and medua. Then slowly, you will, you, you have such a desire to go to the end of this dissolution. So at the end, with the intention to reach the dissolution stage, especially at the end, you should contemplate jhana dhammas. It is very good. It is very good. So you should enter into five jhana. Imagine from first five jhana, you should contemplate this jhana dhammas as nature. So that's dukkha. So that's another. Again, you should enter into second jhana. Imagine from second jhana, you should contemplate this second jhana dhammas as nature and dukkha and another. In this way, if you do gain gain all jhana dhammas then you should choose one channel. Which channel will be better for you? And then, then you have one inclination to practice only one channel. For example, fourth channel. For example, eh? then you should emphasize this fourth channel. There are three characteristics, nature, dhokha, and eh? nada. Among these characteristics, three characteristics, you have been already practiced many times. So because of this reason, you get emphasized on nada. With the intention, to reach the end of this dissolution formations. Hmm? Mm. So if you practice in this way, when you are inside Vinga Mitjua, then one day you will reach the end of this dissolution state. Mm. That is, you are part knowledge and fruition knowledge with take nirvana, unconditioned element as outside. But 
fast movement is only few seconds only maybe not l last long one second only, only because fat knowledge one mind movement fusion knowledge two or three moments only so very very quick but again you must contemplate them with the intention to reach that diso uh, the end of that dissolution stage then if you try in this way this time maybe you can maintain this to for realization of nirvana huh? if you maintain this realization knowledge for a long time this realization knowledge is called fusion knowledge or no path knowledge if you can maintain this fusion knowledge one hour two hour etc other than you can check hmm, whether there are any developments which you cannot destroy or what are you can destroy hmm, then you can check any developments at the time <coughs> so if you attain in the same way if after attaining of sodabana stage you must contemplate the, in the same way these formations as an initiative another then you can attain again sagadagami was ratana stage then again you must contemplate <coughs> these formations as nichaduka nanda again then when you are inside become medieval you get a day no ratana stage again you must contemplate these formations as nichaduka nanda in the same way when you are inside become medieval then you will add the hardship that a hardship stage for that thought hmm? referring to that a hard stage hmm? Anesi docha viharadi nacha pinchi doge ubadiyadi. He advised independent, not clinging to anything in the world. Is it good or no? <laughs> not clinging anything in the world. He advised independent. This is very good. So, eon sa ko veku e veku kae ka andu pasu viharadi. Vekus in this way e veku advised contemplating body as a body, so he concludes his Anapana session. So, Abdu had that stage only. So, <coughs> this is, an, when you are practicing Anapana system medically, in this way, then you can edit Radha Shit. In the same way, there are many <laughs> sessions in Mahasri Prana Sutta. Every session can edit Radha Shit, but that huh? explain in detail. So, next time we will explain this. Tomorrow, he will preach tomorrow. <laughs> 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 the day of that tomorrow, she will do. Huh? <laughs> okay, any question? I have a question about um, states of consciousness during sleep. Huh. Do we produce karma, karma at that time? Maybe or what is happening during... Maybe this karma is very weak. Oh. Maybe, for, for example, in your dream, hmm. you may see Buddha. For example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you may offer something. You may see vehicles, you, you may offer something. Huh? Mm -hmm. So this is a wholesome karma, but that wholesome karma is very weak. Mm -hmm. Because on this reason, it cannot produce any future as it states. But within, between part consciousness moment and cat consciousness moment, along the light, they may produce good results. Mm -hmm. This is one. But in the dream, sometimes you may do bad actions. I mean, you may kill insects, etc. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is a wholesome karma. But that uh, wholesome karma is also very weak. Mm -hmm. Because of this reason, it cannot produce any future existence. But between bad consciousness and dead consciousness, along the light, they may produce bad results. Mm -hmm. Not so strong. Very yeah, weak. Not so strong. Mm -hmm. And I had another question to uh, Saidao about <coughs> the Buddha, the Buddha's dukkha, yes. which is his dukkha was only um, physical. He did not yes, yes, experience yes. mental yes, yes. suffering. Yes, yes. Just physical only. Physical only. Yes, yes. For example, had it. Oh. When he is practicing in Uruvela six years, mm. he practiced not to breathe. He closed this, closed this, closed this, <laughs> closed this. All flows, what is attacking to his head? Mm. Beginning from this, head problem up here. Oh. This is bodily uh, feeling only, not mm. physically actually. In the same way, diarrhea, because of previous karma. So, only bodily feeling only, mm. not physically, not, uh, not mental feeling. Mm.
No question? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Bhante, I have a question about the, the future. Yeah. Um, when, you're, when you're practicing to see the cessation of, of um, Nama Rupa, um, and you look into the future, to, so you go all the way to when there is cessation. So <coughs> let's say, for example, I'm looking at um, when I attain Ar- Arahantship, and, and that's five lives away. Okay, so then I contemplate. I would do five legs, six legs. Right. Okay, so then I see the I see that <coughs> cessation, and and at that point I can I can contemplate this the cessation of those yes. of all of those things such yes. that I can attain our handship in this life. So then I change the future. Yes, yes, can change, can change. Can change means, because of this reason, we are contemplating future also as Nisha Dukkha Ah, okay. When, when you are inside knowledge become where you are, this chantment for future existence will arise. Because of this, this, ch- this chantment, then in this very life also you get a deep Because for some persons, there are two types of arahas. Who, who got definite prophecy? Niyada, Pradida. So Arahas, they do not get a definite prophecy. For example, in the end of our Buddha, there is um, a Mahadana city. Mahadana city, how they translate? Maybe great Rasharas son. Hmm? Very, very rich person's son. His wife also very rich, he also very rich. <coughs> but they drink, dance, and then they use, they waste their property, then later they begin petas. Mm. When they very old, mm. one day they went to Jitavana Vihara, and then the Buddha was in Jitavana Vihara. I think at the day he was maybe more than 90 years old, nearly 100 maybe. And then day, what what the Romanian foods, hmm? extra foods, hmm? they are expecting extra food from Sangha hmm? San, in the tiny hall. They are in the staircase, they are waiting with cups. <laughs> they are waiting. So Buddha sees this cup and smile. Without cause, Buddha never smile. There is any cause. So what is the reason Venerable Ananda asked to the Buddha? What is the reason for you are smiling? So Buddha relate their story. They have enough parami to adding hardship. One gentleman, the husband has the enough parami to adding hardship. Lady has enough parami to adding no radan hardship. If they have a lot of some way, got, huh? the sense of spiritual urgency in the first lifetime, first lifetime means between 30 years old. Hmm? Between uh, 30 years. Hmm? If they renounce the war and they ordain as a bhikkhuni, as a na bhikkhuni, hmm? the husband will become Raha, the lady will become Sodha, uh, Sodha, uh, Noradana. But if they forgot, hmm? because enjoying sensual pleasures, then if they cannot renounce in first age, the second age, second age means between 30 and 60. If they renounce the work, what they as a bhikkhu and bhikkhuni, husband can become no radana, then wife can become once radana. Again, if they enjoy sensual pleasures and they forgot to ordain, then after <laughs> <laughs> last, last age stage, last age, age stage means between 60 and 90. In that last stage, if they ordain as a bhikkhu and bhikkhuni, the husband can be gone once radana, lady, wife can be gone, sodhavana, sukhimana. But now they are both are over, mm. over three ages, mm. maybe more than 90 years and nearly 100. So when I'm, when Buddha preached to Ma, they did not 
crash timine because their memory is very old. So because of this reason, Buddha also do not teach any Dhamma. They, they will die. Why are they will be, be reborn in future existence? No one can say exactly. Because they are like maybe what called Georgia, maybe in very big part, searching for fish in the in a very small form. Mm -hmm. That small bone inside that form there is only few water and sun is very hot. So very soon water will finish. Fish also with this via. His hot hot wings are also broken. He cannot fly anywhere. They are saying like this part. <laughs> <laughs> So you should not try like that. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so here changing means, although they have never me do any hardship, they do not enter. Mm -hmm. So changing. In the same way, in future what is this thing? You may attain hardship. But if you practice only, if you do not practice, then there may be many futures again. <laughs> but if you practice generally, generally in this very life, then you may attain in this life also. You may attain hardship in this very life. The same thing, like can you yes, see yes, same, same, same. your own death in yes, this same, life? Same. Like what if you see that you're going to die next week? <laughs> <laughs> you should try. <laughs> you should try, you should try. <laughs> you can see only your own death also in the same way. Mm -hmm. Some people, they can fix their own death time. Somebody did that. Maybe 18 years old or 75 years old, he will die. They understand well. But for some people, they cannot understand exact date. Although they cannot understand exact date, they can see their death moment. But they cannot fix which lifespan they cannot fix. Fix means or 95 years old or 18 years old, and this way they cannot fix exactly. But they can see death. But when you break this, huh? uh, previously I told Rupa Sadaga, Madhiriya Septic, Aruba Sadaga, Madhiriya Septic. In this way, if you break this, they can nearly understand fixed it. They can understand very, very close to it. They can understand. One question. Uh, the question related to uh, the uh, example you gave uh, these two old, uh, these old couples here yeah, about karma. It seems uh, to me that uh, in Buddha's teaching, karma plays a very important and profound role in our life. Uh, it seems to me that uh, a lot of things have been predetermined by karma. But again, in our life, it seems to me we still have some room to maneuver. We can have choices. For example, before we came here, we can decide whether we wanted to attend this uh, retreat or not. Uh, many people here may have already planned their vacation in the August, coming August. So my question is, uh, is our life 100% determined by mm -hmm. karma, or is 90% de determined by karma, we still have 10% that we have free choices? Oh, it's 80% by 20% or 70%. <laughs> this always strikes me, yeah. There are two types of karma. Past karma and present karma. Past action and present action. They, these couples, they had fulfilled parami for realization of Nibbana by Rahampa Prusin knowledge and Noradana Prusin knowledge. Noradana Prusin knowledge. Pat in Prusin knowledge. Although they have Nibbana Yoga Sampati. Yoga Sampati, what how they translate, I don't know. They must do right action in this very life. This is also called karma. If they do not do right action in this very life, although they have parami, they cannot add any achievement. So present karma also necessary. Another reason is God in the Lady Sarah's Maybe Two or three days ago, I have explained which are seat in Charana seat. For this couple, Charana seat is not enough. Charana seat means in previous life, 
when they are accumulating whole swantamas, they had been accumulated that when chassis. They had been Jesa and the Mandalati, Madinati, and they are gorgeous in as they contemplate the as nature to God, partially, maybe. But when they are accumulating donation, dana, and observing sila, when they practicing samatha, they have no certain wish for realization of Nibbana. Although they may have certain wish for realization of Nibbana, their karma is not yet mature. So because of this reason, this karma cannot produce to meet with Buddha in time. Other karmas may produce to be revoked as a human being. Why we can say? They have no much desire for realization of Nibbana. In this last life, they have a lot of enjoyment for sensual pleasure only. Because of this reason, they may have accumulated that in previous life for, sensual pleasure, for, the, for enjoyment of sensual pleasure. This karma produces their high aggregates in this last life. Because of this reason, when they gain a lot of sensual pleasures, they enjoy these sensual pleasures only the whole life. This is also one. This, because of this reason, their karma cannot sit in time to meet with Buddha. When they are very old, they cannot accept Buddha's teaching. At that time, only they meet with Buddha. Mm -hmm. So this cannot sit is not enough. This is one reason, according to Yerishyara's opinion. The another example is which are sit. <coughs> So, Masa's Charana seat is good, very good, enough. But Vajra seat is not enough. Although they meet with Buddha, they cannot realize for noble truth. One example is famous Sitchaka. Do you know Sitchaka? Sitchaka who? Who debate with Buddha? Pai aggregate. Buddha says, Pai aggregate is another. He, he debate, hmm? or he argue. With Buddha, Pat Grigesha, and that. <laughs> Although he meets with Buddha and that, he had a wrong view, Pat Grigesha, and that. Buddha explained him in detail two long discourses, Sula Sechaga Sota, Maha Sechaga Sota, very long, maybe longer than Maha Srikana Sota, very long Sotas. Although he, Buddha, explained these two types of discourses. He do not he did not take refuge to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. He did he, he did not become Buddhist. But in his mind, because of this listening Buddha's Dhamma talk, he agreed by agreeing that by agreeing guys are another. He agreed. But he don't want to confess openly. <laughs> Mentally only he agree. <laughs> this is because his parami. So, because of this parami, Abdan the Mahabrinibana of Buddha, 400 years later, in Sri Lanka, he became very famous Arahat. Hmm? Maybe, uh, uh, huh? Maybe I forgot his name. Hmm? Very famous hmm? Arahat became. So, because of this Vajjasi, so his for him, which I see is not enough to accept Buddha's teaching. Mahakala Buddha Ratita. Yes. In Sri Lanka, he began one famous Arahat, Mahakala Buddha Ratita. So, both which I see and Jarana see is necessary for realization of Nibbana. But, so because of this reason, <coughs> Kama distinguish to be inferior or superior. In the same way, karma distinguish to be male or woman. Karma distinguish to be superior or inferior means to be noble one or wandering person. Karma distinguish. This karma is two types, past karma as well as present karma. Although they have enough barami, if they do not do anything in this very life, then they will not attain any achievement. Why? You have not gained 
definite prophecy. For those who had been already gained definite prophecy, it is sure. For those who have no definite prophecy, then it is not sure. Maybe or not, but maybe. <laughs> Any question? In um, in the uh, in nibbana, hmm. the, you say the mind takes the deathless or the unconditioned as the object. Hmm. So at that point, what what is is the mind? The mind it's, it's so mind. purified at that point, and it's it's just the, those pure factors of those enlightenment factors of mindfulness. Yes, yes. Usually, if you, for example, eh? if you contemplate Pajana Thomas as a nature or Dukkha or Nanda, or especially Nanda, other than if you realize Nibbana, then your, <coughs> your path knowledge is associated with 37 mental factors. Among these 37 mental factors, maybe Samawacha, right speech, Samagamada, right reason, Sama Ajiva, right livelihood. 34 plus these three, all together, 37. <coughs> they are pure. Mm -hmm. But they can destroy, sort of banana path knowledge can destroy only the parliament partially, mm -hmm. not fully. Again, they must do with Vasana, again, again, if they begin a hard path knowledge. That hard path knowledge also may be sometimes when they are contemplating Pajana Dhammas as another. They may, or Nicha or Doka, another. Other than they may realize unconditioned element. Then that Arhampa also associated with 37 mental patterns. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, if they contemplate Sagin Chana Thomas as Nicha Doka, another. Other than if they realize they only be no 37, there may be only 35. Why? Mm -hmm. Vujaga Vujara is upset. Mm -hmm. Because Sagin Chana. In the same way, if they practice Tachana, as a Nicha Dukkha Nada, other than there may be 34 mental patterns, because PD is absent. Yeah. When they are contemplating for Chana Thomas as a Nicha Dukkha Nada, other than if they realize Nibbana, then there may be 31. But 31 is Sukha absent, neutral feeling, present again. So in this way, there may be a little bit changing. Mm. Okay, any question? <laughs> uh, Sada, you said earlier that uh, my producer materiality can only stay can only stay inside our body, cannot go outside. Mm -hmm. Only temperature kalapa can move outside. It's so it's done yes. mm -hmm. So when we send a meta to someone, let's say a uh, thousand miles away, what do we actually send and uh, what actually a person receive? Maybe this is which can kind of which can I no physical do we, do we send the uh, temperature kalapa out? Or? No, not temperature, but maybe other than we should not distinguish may this nama be well and happy. <laughs> may this ruba be well and happy. <laughs> In this way, you should not do as a concept only. Mm -hmm. May my teacher, for example, may well be well be well be uh, well, well, happy. Happy. Well, well, well and happy. May be well and happy. In this way, only as a teacher only. Not argument, materiality, and mentality. Mm -hmm. So you should distinguish in this case conventional truth and eh? argument truth. Argument truth is argument, mentality, materiality. Conventional truth is man, woman, etc. Mm -hmm. in, in that case, you must try according to conventional truth only. When you are observing purification of Baju, then you must try according to conventional truth only. According to argument says there is no being, there is no father, there is no mother. It is true, but according to convention is true, there is father, there is mother, there is man, there is woman. So we must distinguish two, two lines. For observing, convention is true is necessary. For some matter, convention is true is necessary. For communication, convention is true is necessary. Uh, please, Ruba, come. Please, Nama, come. <laughs> <laughs> this is imposing. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. From a conventional standpoint, I would like to be pure. That makes sense. Okay. But uh, from how you're describing things, uh, if there is no permanent self, what's the point in striving? What are you purifying? Mm. Mentality, materiality only. Yeah? So you are trying. He are trying is effort, according to Buddha's teaching. In that people, mental factors, three people you study and explain. Among that people who are trying, who are trying effort is trying only. <laughs> who know wisdom for God is no. <laughs> Mindfulness is remembering only. You do not remember. Mindfulness remember only. In this way, this. Mental factors, they do their own respected work. Mm-hmm. So, when purifying a beer, this mental process becomes pure. When pure, the phenomena will not arise again in your mental process. But why should I care? <laughs> why should I care if, if that's not me? <laughs> why should I put up? Why should, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you do not bright this, then you must reborn again. And there, if, if you had been reborn, then again there may be old age, death, and old age, sickness, and death. Again you must reborn again, then there may be old age, sickness, and death. So in this way, this process will continue. If you don't want to suffer this continued sufferings, then you must bright this. So I have to have that conventional point of view to maybe not want to suffer, right? For, maybe, for a while. Maybe this is also another way, no? Uh. Here, mentality, materiality, this is one. As soon as they rise, they pass away. But there is also mentality, materiality. This is new one. For example, here is candle. You put another candle up on the top of fire. The another candle also began light. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. This light is coming from where? From the wax and the and the Maybe you strength. may say from first one, second one, second from from first light, second light is coming. Mm-hmm. You may say. But really it is not true. If the second light is up coming then here must be absent. Light must be only here. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But without first candle and light, second candle and light is also cannot appear. In the same way only. Depending on your reality, materiality, this is one candle. Hmm? You accumulate many holes and holes on cameras. Because of this holes and holes on cameras, new existence coming again. Again, you accumulate in that new existence for wholesome cameras. Then, new existence will come again. But if you don't want to <coughs> this existence, hmm, then you must practice this lower a full mm-hmm. You may in a commissioner true only. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> they practice successfully. Then one day this process will cease completely. The process, mental pro- process become pure. Pure means Improve knowledge can destroy this defilement stage by stage. When defilement becomes pure, mental, your mental will become pure. When there are no mental defilements, mental process will be pure at the time. That pure mental process cannot produce any pure existence. Then there are no bad, no decay, no <coughs> sickness, and no old age. You will escape from the wrong or rebirth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Monty, uh, if everything is cause and effect, mm-hmm. then doesn't that mean free will? Because when we're choosing, there would always be a cause for us to make a certain decision. So I, it seems to me if everything is cause and effect, free will does not really exist. Maybe. Although there are cause, in this very really another cause. If we can accumulate very powerful cause, that cause can destroy all causes. For example, among these causes, part knowledge is powerful. Inside knowledge is second powerful knowledge. Uh, Some powerful knowledge. 
We can accumulate this samatha. We can accumulate this inside knowledge. We can accumulate that part knowledge. They are also causes. Hosan Thomas. These Hosan Thomas are also cause. But part not produce any future existence. This called part cannot produce any future existence. But samatha knowledge can produce future existence. So they are different causes. We must accumulate powerful causes. If we can replace in the not powerful place, eh? then powerful will produce a distance part uh, more. Weak, uh, weak causes will be big. They cannot produce any more because they are very powerful. When some of that, uh, what called president is coming, we must we must be behind, <laughs> not in front. <laughs> Because some uh, president is very powerful in this country. In the same way, powerful karma cause is coming then, weak karmas are behind only. They cannot produce any more. Mm. Mm. Uh, I have a follow up question on this uh, question. Uh, let's say uh, I, I did some behavior in the past that produced some, this is uh, called so as A. So this is, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a comma B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad comma uh, in A, or there's no interaction between these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Angoli Mala. Hmm? Be better. Mm -hmm. In this very life, last life. But when he began Rahat, these commas cannot produce future existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham part karma can testify or produce some. This are called so as A. So this, this is my preceding cause, A, and we're going to produce a karma B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit be offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And in Guli Mala. Be better. Mm -hmm. In this very life, last life. But when he began Rahat, these karmas cannot produce future existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that. Arham Pat Kama can testify or produce some. This are called so as A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a karma B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Angoli Mala. Be better. In this very life, last life. But when he began Rahat, these commas cannot produce future existence. So they are opposite, you can see. But that Raham Pat Kama can testify or produce some. This are called so as A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a karma B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit be offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Angoli Mala. Be better. In this very life, last life. But when he began Rahat, these karmas cannot produce future existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Arham Pat Kama can testify or produce some. This are called so as A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad Kama uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated 
a good, which I call a B right now, can this uh, good merit B offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with this two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light, last light. But when he begins Raha, these karmas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham Pat Kama can that's right or not. Produce some, this are called sons A. So this is, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit be offset this bad Kama uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light, last light. But when he began Raha, these Kamas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see. But that Raham Pat Kama can test right or not. Produce some. This are called sons A. So this is, this is my preceding cause, A, and we're going to produce a karma B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light. Like, that's like, but when he began Raha, these karmas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham Pat Kama can test right or not. Produce some, this are called sons A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham Pat Kama can test right or not. Produce some, this are called sons A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad Kama uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light, last light. But when he began Raha, these Kamas cannot produce one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light, last light. But when he began Raha, these Kamas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham Pat Kama can test right or not. Produce some, this are called sons A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad Kama uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light, last light. But when he began Raha, these Kamas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that Raham Pat Kama can test right or not. Produce some, this are called sons A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a Kama B in the future, A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad Kama uh, in A, or there's no interaction with these two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And Guli Mala. He be bad. And this very light. That's like, but when he began Raha, these Kamas cannot produce Ducha existence. So they are opposite, you can see, but that 
Arham, but come up in test frame or produce some. This are called sounds A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a comma B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulate a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit B offset this bad comma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with this two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means uh, one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And in Guli Mala. He be bad. In this very life, last life. But when he began Raha, these commas cannot produce future existence. So they are opposite, you can see. But that Raham Pat Kama can testify or produce some. This are called sounds A. So this, this is my preceding cause A, and we're going to produce a comma B in the future. A in the future. Suppose I accumulated a good, which I call B right now. Can this uh, good merit be offset this bad karma uh, in A, or there's no interaction with this two? Maybe opposite sometimes. Opposite means uh, one clear eh? explanation. Have you heard? And in Guli Mala. Maybe mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. In this very life, last life. But when he began Raha, these karmas cannot produce future existence.